Hey friends, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool. I'm here today and we're in a new month of November. I am going to share some of my favorite stories in the month of November with you. Some will have to do with Thanksgiving and fall and harvest. And I picked out a great one for today. So I hope you enjoy. All right. The title is Peppa Gives Thanks. See, there's Peppa and her family. All right. Hi. It's a lovely sunny morning. Peppa and Susie are having a tea party in the garden. I brought my teddy to join us, says Peppa. Did you bring your owl, Susie? No, says Susie. I brought new Mr. Super Snuggles. He is the best bear in the whole world. What does he do? Peppa asks. He can sing, says Susie, and says, I love you, and his eyes light up. Wow, says Peppa. My teddy can't do any of those things. When Peppa gets home, she finds Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. I would like a Mr. Super Snuggles, please, she says. But you have a teddy bear, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. My teddy is boring, Peppa snorts. He can't sing or talk, and his eyes don't light up. Ho, 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 Daddy Pig laughs. Come on, Peppa, let me show you something. Daddy Pig shows Peppa a photo album. There are lots of pictures inside. This is when we went camping, says Peppa, and to the beach, and on the hot air balloon ride. And who was in all those pictures with you, asked Daddy Pig. My Teddy, cries Peppa. Right, you've had Teddy ever since you were a little piggy. That makes him very special. We have to be thankful for the things that we have, says Mom and Pig. What's thankful, asked Peppa. It means that we're happy for the wonderful things in our lives, said Mommy Pig. What are you thankful for, Peppa? Peppa thinks, my toys. She runs upstairs. Her room is filled with lots of lovely toys. What else, asked Mommy Pig? Our house, cries Peppa. I love our house and our car and our garden. Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Anything else? Hmm, Peppa thinks. I know something I'm thankful for, says Mummy Pig. What? You and George and Daddy Pig, of course, said Mummy Pig. Hee hee hee, Peppa giggles. I'm thankful for that too. I'm thankful for Susie's shape and all my friends, says Peppa, and Granny and Grandpa Pig. Let's call Granny and Grandpa Pig. Right now, said Mummy Pig. We can invite them over for a special dinner. Yes, said Peppa. I learned that I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my toys and our house and our friends. How lovely, says Granny Pig. But most of all, I'm thankful for my family, says Peppa, and my teddy. Ooh, look at that. Hee hee hee. Peppa loves being thankful. Everyone loves being thankful, especially when there's so much to be thankful for. <gasps> I hope you enjoyed this story about Peppa Gives Thanks and what she's thankful for. I have a little craft that you can do this month that goes along with the story. So I'm gonna show you what you need. So I got a couple colors of construction paper out and I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna use tape and I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna put the other on my board. So first thing I did was I cut out a little body and this is supposed to be like a turkey body. See his head, his body. And then I cut out some colorful feathers. I only did four because you can start with just a couple. 
And what we're gonna do is you put your turkey down. I'm gonna show you on my whiteboard here. I'm gonna put my turkey down on the board, and then we're gonna write these we're thankful for. We'll use Pepper's example from the book. I'm gonna put my turkey down on my board with some tape. You can tape your turkey to your refrigerator, to your bedroom floor, and every day you can add a new feather. All right, so your, you can tape your turkey down, and then every day you can take your tape. See? And every day I will start with a red feather and I will take a red feather and I will put it on by my turkey and we're gonna write something on it like this. Okay, We're gonna write something on it, the feather that we're thankful for. So we're gonna use examples from the book from Pepper. So Pepper was thankful for, does anyone remember? Pepper was thankful for, yeah, Family. So let's write family on the red feather. And that's how it looks. Family. Did he have, say anything else? We'll use the other yellow one. Toys. Yes. Toys. Toys in her bedroom. Pepper had toys in her bedroom. I'm going to tape the yellow feather up for another one from this story. Okay, I'm putting the tape on the back, and then you're going to put the feather on your turkey. See, we have two. So you can put one feather on each day of things that you're thankful for in our family. Was there anything else in Pepper's story that Pepper was thankful for? Yes, your house, where you live. Good job. So I have an orange feather and I will put tape on the back and then we can put it behind our turkey and we can write on it, house or home. Okay, and then one more feather I have. What else did Pepper say? Garden, yes, that's a good one to be thankful for. So I'm gonna write the word garden. Garden, I'm gonna put it up on my turkey board. Turkey board. All right, so there's my four feathers for today from what pepper. You know, our turkey needs a face. So I'm going to draw a little face on our turkey. And these eyes. And he needs a little babbler. And does he, do turkeys have noses? So a little nose. We'll add some little feathers. Okay. All right. So there's my turkey. And every day you can add a feather to your turkey at your house of things you're thankful for. Like Pepper was thankful for these things. All right, friends. Well, if you, you enjoyed my story today, I want you to come back again next time and want you to post a picture of your thankful turkey that you made, and then you could add more feathers to it each day. All right, see you next time.